stories for today and they both involve buying off plan. So the first story is about a guy that I know from Pattaya. He, he was 63 year old when he first came to Pattaya with his brother. He'd just gone through a, a bereavement uh, so therefore he was lost and broken hearted because his wife had just died. So his brother talked him into coming to Pattaya. When he came to Pattaya what a change in feeling. He was a reborn again if you like at 63 year old um, he had a wonderful time he was here for a month and he was due to retire at 65 years old and in the first two weeks that he was here he said that's it this is it now he said I'm, i want to live here i don't want to continue living where i where i am so he said i'm definitely going to come to patia and he went looking for an apartment and because he was here for a month he had a good look around and he decided to buy an apartment off plan um, because it was due to be ready in two years time when he retired at 65. So he put a deposit down and the agreement was that it'd be ready in two years time when he retired at 65. So happy with everything, um, he thought right that's it when I retire I'm going to move here to Patria and every time he could get a holiday from his work back in the UK he was over in Pattaya and he had a, a great time. He was a very sociable man, very happy man, happy-go-lucky man. And he had a wonderful time here in Pattaya. So what happened was when he got to 65, he retired. So the last payment for the condo was due a month after he retired. And that was when he was planning to come across, pay the last payment and move into his condo. So when he arrived in Pattaya, he went to find the office which had moved, which sort of set a few alarm bells ringing so he went to the condo unit and it was still a building site he found the sales department had moved on site and he went in to see the the sales department and he asked whether he could go and see his condo and they replied almost straight away it isn't ready yet it isn't ready and, and it's not going to be ready for some time so they mentioned to him again about paying the final payment and he ummed and ahed and he said, I paid the final payment because I expected to move in it when I retire when, and I'm here now to retire. So what's going to happen? So they pointed at the, the small print. The small print said they were allowed to go 12 months over the proposed date of completion of the condo. So in effect, they had another year after taking his money to complete the condo. And he asked, well, what if it goes on for longer than a year? And then they replied, well, it's, if it goes on for longer than a year, then we'll give you some compensation. We'll buy you a fridge freezer or a microwave or something like that, which is a small amount of money compared to the, the condo cost 2.2 million. So not happy with that. There's nothing else you could do. He went and rented an apartment and he was paying 12,000 baht a month to rent an, an apartment in Padia because he'd gone lock stock and barrel moving over to Thailand and his start of retirement didn't happen the way he planned so anyway it took 18 months before the condo was ready to move into once it was up and running and built he was happy with the condo but it, it was a shame that it took 18 months longer than he planned and all them 12,000 baht for 18 months added up and that was extra 12,000 baht and the guy only lived off his pension also. So 12,000 baht a month to pay out his pension, it was a lot of money to pay for him. And he wasn't very happy at that at all. So if you're gonna be buying something that's off plan that actually isn't built, looking to, look into the fine details of the small print, the fact that they will have maybe it's a year or two years after the completion date to be able to finish your apartment off. So. That's warning number one with regard to um, buying off plan. Now, the, the second story I'm gonna talk about, again, it, it, it's happened to a friend of mine, and I know the story very, very well because I've followed it for a long time. And this guy bought a condo unit on a lease basis, which is different to actually owning the condo. He bought, he bought the lease of the condo unit, which was supposedly renewed every three years. Now that, that's always been strange to me why somebody would buy a condo actually not owning the bricks and the mortar but buying the lease of the condo. So this guy bought a few condos on a lease basis. 
So I'm going to explain the dangers of buying a condo which is leased and you don't own the bricks and the mortar. Now for every condo unit that you live in, there is a fee to pay a maintenance fee. So everybody understands that the grounds need taken care of, repairs need to be done. So therefore everybody's happy paying a maintenance fee. Um, now it's slightly different with the people who lease their property and don't actually own it. I'll give you some examples of this guy that I know who's leased his condos and he doesn't actually own the bricks and the mortar. Now, because COVID's hit, the resort has closed down. So therefore it's not making any money and people are not getting paid because of the COVID situation here in Thailand. But everybody's still expected to pay the maintenance, which is 3000 baht a month for the maintenance of the, of the condo units and the, the resort. So bearing in mind, some of these people haven't had any income from their leased condos for about 18 months. They started questioning paying their maintenance fees towards the resort. And what's happened is that some of them have stopped paying the maintenance for their condos because they're getting no money, no return. So they're in, in dispute with the owner of the condo units, their lease agreements. But again, the contracts, you've got to look at the contracts, get a solicitor, get a lawyer to look at the contracts because under the contractual agreement, if you stop paying the maintenance for these leased apartments, then you forego the right to owning the apartment. Are given a period of time to pay the maintenance fees for these condos and if you don't pay the maintenance charge then you forego the right to having the lease so that in effect the lease is taken back off you and you've lost all the money that you paid for the lease so stopping paying the maintenance for the resort you forego your right to the lease agreement so therefore there are a number of people that I know have lost their condo units because in the clause if you stop paying the the maintenance charge then you lose the right to your lease and some of these condos are about a million and a half two million baht each so now that they are in dispute with the condo owners because of not paying their maintenance fees so again just look at the small print everything that seems to be good sometimes isn't good over here so buyers beware so that's a couple of stories that I know personally the people involved in buying these condo units on an off-plan basis. Unfortunately, the first guy had to wait 18 months to be able to move into his condo. But the second guy is, is faced with a, an impossible situation. The fact that the resort isn't making any money, it's closed, and for 18 months he's had no income off his condos. Or because of the lease agreement, he's forced to pay 3,000 baht a month for a resort that isn't open, doesn't make him any money. So his financial investment to these condo units has become a nightmare now. And the way things are over here, he may not get any money now for another one and a half or two years even before everything opens back up here in Thailand. So just a, a little video about people to be wary of any properties at the buy here, off plan, on plan, lease agreement or wherever. Do your due diligence, get an expert to look at the contract to make sure that you're not buying a nightmare as opposed to buying something for the rest of your life. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.